You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. We are still previewing tonight's Kentucky versus Alabama game. And as always, happy to be joined now by Mike Pratt of the UK Sports Network. Hello, Mike. Uh, let's jump right into it. You got Alabama has been pretty consistent all year. UK has been trending upward this last week and a half. How do you see this matchup tonight on the floor? Well, guys, I, I see this as two teams that back in December, Alabama was struggling, and of course, Kentucky was struggling. We know that, but these are two teams that have finally got it together, or it looks like they've got it together here in the early in January. So um, Alabama, those guys have never seen a shot they don't like. I call it Chuck and Duck. I mean, anybody on that team is capable and willing to shoot a tray. They've shot 351 trays on the year. They shoot the ball on an average of every 14 seconds in the shot clock. That's that's what I call chucking and ducking. Now, they have three guys, Shackelford, Penny, and uh, Quinterly, who have shot roughly 57 58% of the total trays themselves. So you know they're a focal point. But the big guys, the big guys will jack it up too. I mean, this is a team Nate Oaks has, guys, that is very similar with more athletic talent than the teams he had at Buffalo when he had that, that team really rolling in the Mid-American Conference. Mike, Keon Brooks has been one of the biggest stories. Great game against Florida. We've talked about his 12 points on six of eight shooting. But Coach Cal also had to give a shout out to Brooks' physical presence and his defense. Mike, listen to this. I watched our game with Florida a year ago. He was a skinny, <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. And I see him now a year later. Well, I wish I had guys for four years. But I see him a year later, and – you're like, wow, like this kid. And what he did, it was how active he was, how long he was. He never was in the wrong place defensively. He, never, you, he was where he was supposed to be. Mike, uh, a year ago, I was a little more skinny too. But um, <laughs> talk about his presence on the floor and what he has done for this team as they move forward to the rest of the season. Well, it looks like, guys, that he's going to be the alpha dog of this team, and this team really needed that. A very high IQ basketball player, uh, not a ball stopper, but knows how to play the game. Obviously, having been at Kentucky last year, he understands Calipari, understands the offense, how he can score out of it. And uh, he, he's just one of those guys that you want to be in a foxhole with. That's the best way to describe him in, in many ways. Uh, uh, will he ever be a, a uh, all-star, uh, all-American? Who knows? But for this team and what he does and what he can do in bringing the other guys along, uh, he is a special uh, piece to the puzzle. Mike, uh, real quick, we talked about the frantic pace that Alabama likes to play with. Kentucky, they have a pretty uh, up-tempo pace type offense too. Uh, where, where do you see the combinations of the guys like Saar, Ware, and Jackson together? And now with Keon back, uh, do you think we could see a little more small ball tonight? We could, and that's a real good question. Alabama likes to play from outside in. They're not going to post up many guys and deliver the ball. It's going to start on the outside. I think Kentucky right now with the way they're shooting the ball, wants to play, particularly against Alabama, inside out. They want to challenge the Alabama bigs in the paint, on the blocks. And then the way Kentucky's shooting, if, if Bama brings the double team uh, on the inside, then you kick the ball out and Kentucky's been hitting those shots, which makes everything operate smoothly. Mike, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. See you. Right. We'll be right back.